All right, so number 23, March Steps. Now the reason that they put this one in the book is because they're forcing you to switch between fingerings that you're not quite used to. So instead of going in order, like from B flat to C, C to D, D to E flat, it's jumping around a little bit more. So for flutes, it starts on B flat and then you jump right to D. So you might wanna practice that a few times, switching between those two notes before you worry about really playing this song. This, it's also helpful when you're practicing this one to break it down into two major chunks because of how it's written. So instead of trying to play the whole thing, you're just gonna play two measures at a time. So if we just worry about playing the first two measures, here we go and. Now, if you had trouble playing those first two measures, go back, especially to that first measure, and practice switching between the two notes that are required there. If you had an easy time doing it, let's play the next two. Again, if you had difficulty with any of it, zoom in on it, find the difficulty, practice just that part that was tricky. Maybe it was tricky to get from C to E flat or from D to F, depending on which instrument you play, from A to C for my saxophones. But zero in on whatever the problem is, work on just that part, and then zoom back out. Now let's try the next two measures. Again, zoom in if you have to, practice it if it's not good. And the last two measures. And once you've done that a few times, you can kind of piece together the song bit by bit. So instead of just playing the first two measures, play the first four. And then the last four. And then try to put it all together as one big piece. The whole song together will sound like this. 